Hello everybody. This is Ashish here. Uh, welcome to the fourth week of this training. In the last lecture, I had explained you how to work without object repository, and we had made small examples uh, to run applications without object repository, Windows-based application as well as web-based applications. Right. So today I'm going to start with descriptive programming, and in descriptive programming, I'll take up very simple examples with you in the beginning right so let me tell you one thing descriptive programming requires some practice and until unless you don't do it with your own hands you won't come to know about it right so let's start uh, let's start with a simple page like this the google.com which comes along with mozilla firefox right so uh, okay let us take let us take some uh, different page for example, I'll take up a page, a rich page like timesofindia.com. This is a site of a newspaper in India. Right, it's a very good newspaper in India, a famous one. So I'll take up this site. It's got, it's very rich. It's got lot of links, lot of buttons, lot of text on it. Right. So I want to calculate number of links on the coming on this page. I'll take up a small example, the basic example of descriptive programming right so just let me write two lines set description equal to description dot create description make class dot value equals to link now what does this these two lines they mean um, set description equal to description dot create means that I'm creating an object and the name of that object is description DESC sorry I can na give any name over here and I have to change it over here right so set basically represents uh, object it tells us that we are going to take and create an object so the whole line has created an object and that object is actually an object of description okay and the make class of that object is link Many people ask me what is the make class, right? If I spy the page, Times of India page, and go to this link, right? And in the spy, you can move the spy with uh, by pressing Control on keyboard. The class name is link, right? So this class name is the make class. If I go over this select your city drop down, then the class name is web list right so the webless is a make class so make classes are predefined classes inside qtp web element web tables pages page browser web list web radio group web edit web button these all classes are make classes in qtp okay so i want object of make class link so my description it actually represents a link right now I'll make one more object and I'll extract all the links present in the application in that object. Okay, I'll name that object as obj link. Set tells me that I'm going to create an object and the name of that object is obj link equal to our old line browser. I'll I'm not using object repository here. Last while we did creation time colon equals to yeah anybody zero yes right dot page title colon equals to now what's the title of times of india right i don't know but i'll use a regular regular expression here right dot star so dot star represents a regular expression that means the browser with creation time zero and any page inside the browser dot we use child objects here child objects which match the description now what does this line mean child objects it means that all the child objects present in this page which match the description that means which are links because the de description represents links right put all those objects inside obj link so if i write message box obj link dot count and I run the script so there are 315 links on timesofindia.com 
right if I change my class name from link to web button right and I run this there is no web button on times of India right I'll spy times of India and I'll see this this is a web list right web list and I'll find total number of web lists then there are six web lists in timesofindia.com now one thing to remember out here is uh, this thing over here is not case sensitive in QTP 11 if I make L small here this will work right but in QTP 10 or 9 or 9.5 these uh, min the make class is case sensitive while we, while you're making a description make sure if you're working in QTP 10 or 9 you don't put B small but in QTP 11 you can do that right even if I make B capital well, let's see what's happen what happens it works right so be careful with that if you are using QTP 10 you don't you cannot do that you have to write else capital the way it comes in object spy in object spy web list has got capital W and capital L um, see capital W and capital L right so as I've not used object repository this is a global script I can use it on any page suppose I go to google.com and I just put link over here this will work on google.com as well it will tell me the total number of links on google.com there are 41 links right so that's how it works if, my, if I take my script to some other site for example ebay.com I take my browser to this and I execute my script it tells me there are 211 links on this page right so this script is independent of the page which is being opened in the browser that's the beauty right now let's come back to google.com and I'll just print the names of all the links right how do you do that all the links are present in obj link object and obj link dot count it told us the total number of links right now obj link is not an array many people think that it's an array it's not an array it's an object right the first ob link is present in obj link 0 index the second link is present in obj link 1 third is present in obj link 2 right but remember that uh, I cannot I'll just comment these two lines I cannot write message box obj link 0 this will not print the first link name right I'll just execute it this will give me an error C right many people do that although the first link is present in obj 0 it doesn't mean that the name of the first link is present right if you spy the first link of the page suppose images is the first link then all the properties of this link they are present in the first link obj0 I want to print the property called name I want to extract the property called name from obj link 0 right so all these properties are known as RO properties because they come at the runtime when the application is running and I want to print the RO property name right so I just have to say obj link 0 dot get RO property in double quotes name right so if I run this okay I'm getting something for my screen recorder okay it's it's running this as zero in the first browser let me run it again screen recorders click here to turn off Google instant if I write one Google right um, my screen recorder is just coming 
between QTP and the browser so we cannot do anything but I am getting the first link Google over here and the second link the name is just see X okay this is playing pretty stupid here third link advanced searched right fourth link language tools right what I'll do is I'll um, actually close google.com and I'll open Internet Explorer rather than Mozilla right and so that it doesn't the screen recorder doesn't comes and come in between now I run this the first link is book the fourth link is books now this is running fine so the first link is images right I had opened Mozilla earlier and the screen recorder I'm using it was in getting in between QTP and Mozilla so I'm testing in Internet Explorer right now so images then the first link and the second link so the first link is images the second is maps and the third is news right so what I can do I can simply write a for loop here to print the names of all the links for some iterator i the first link it is at index 0 I'll start the i from 0 to 2 yeah anyone 2 no why to hard code total number of links here why should I hard code I can use obj link dot count yeah minus 1 and simply put this inside the for loop obj link I dot get arrow property name now this will get the name property and images maps news or code books now I don't want to iterate through all the links right so you can just press F4 and hit enter at the same time and the script will stop hitting F4 stops the script right so this is how I extract the names of the links from the application right getting it yeah so it's not as difficult as it looks it's just seven lines of code that's it and I get the names of all the links in the application right it's very difficult to do this using selenium QTP is a very professional tool right so yeah actually you end up doing a lot of mistakes and then you actually reach to the conclusion and it's very easy QTP makes job makes the job very easy right so get RO property is the key here RO property is the runtime object property now what if I had to print uh, for example I spy the link um, or what if instead of link it was a web button then it will tell it would tell me the total number of web buttons on this page too the name of the first button is Google search the second button is I'm feeling lucky right but mind it the names property should be present when you spy the object okay sometimes the object never has that arrow property if I spy Google search right it's a web button and it's got the name property that's why I am writing get arrow property name right had I had written anything over here it would have not printed anything but it would have printed uh, blank that's it right because ddd object property is not present in the runtime object properties